Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be mostly working on the drag truck. Right now we're going to tear everything down, see what happened. We got a new set of rockers and poly locks. Let's not waste any more time. We're going to get right into it. trying to slow the car down to 7.0 in the eighth mile. Right now we're at 6.84. So we don't have much to go, but we just want to get in the ballpark so we have an idea of what we're looking for on the day of Street Outlaws. We do got a little bit of a headwind, as you can see, so we will have to keep that in mind as well. started.
transmission is back in the C10. It has been a minute, everything's all good. The only thing left is Uncle Glenn will come over and just double check everything. We're gonna flush the lines out, just in case there was anything in there from when the last one got hurt. Got the battery back on, charging on the tender there. We got the filter back on. Also, I was able to do some of the exhaust. Again, it is only temporary until we get the truck lowered. Right now, I just wanted it kicked back just a little bit, just so hopefully it helps with the noise in the cab. We will see once we fire it up. Next thing on the list, we were waiting for a window tint. I had an appointment a couple days after this transmission went out, so we will get back on the schedule. This will be tinted in the next couple days. These trucks just look goofy with the skinny tires on the back. I can't wait to get some new wheel wells for it and lower it and be able to put some big tires on the back. Official channel name has changed. We are now Dakota Nation Racing, b and &R. Just wanted to change it from Detonation Garage. We're gonna stick with it for a while. We are headed over to Detonation Garage to we'll hopefully get some work done on the C10. There's been a lot going on off camera with the trucks. Once I got the transmission in, I went and took it to the transmission guy. We had to modify and make a bunch of brackets to get everything to work how it's supposed to. And then also, since it's a 700, I had a lockup controller inside the truck and it was acting up a little bit, so I was, we were trying to adjust it. Anyways, while we were out on the test drive, the fan stopped working. Towed it home, I got a set of fans ordered, got them in, they're the wrong size. Returned those ones, bought one size smaller, those ones fit, got them all wired up, hooked up, everything's good. And then my sniper handheld inside the truck, I got that mounted. Um, and I also got the, the converter lockup controller mounted in a good spot so that when I'm racing someone I can just click it off and not have to worry about it. But when I'm just driving around town, I'll leave it on and let it do its thing. After I got both those mounted, the, the handheld started acting up and it's like someone's tapping the screen all over a bunch of random spots. So I'm just worried it's going through and messing with the settings or whatever. So I have a new handheld that I'm going to try out see if it does the same thing. I went to double check the oil. I pulled the dipstick out and even the dipstick is just gone. So it's down in the pan somewhere, hopefully. So that's what we're going to go see today. We're going to go drain the oil, see if it comes out. If it doesn't come out, then I'll drop the pan, get it out, make sure there's nothing else. It shouldn't have hurt anything because it's a barrel on the end of it. That should have just dropped to the pan. And I also put new locks on the door. So now the keys are all matching and good. Put a the license plate light on, just a couple little things. But that is the plan for today, so I will see you guys in the shop. Still no luck, got the old one pulled out, and the end is just frayed from where I got cuts. But unfortunately, the pan is going to have to come down. We have the pan drop, something on the cross number here. I think it's just hitting on the counterweight on the front of the so we're gonna bump the motor and see if we can get it to come loose. It was in there. Here's the old dipstick and the barrel that broke off. I'm gonna get a new gasket and then we can get it buttoned back up. I'm glad we found it. That will be it for today's video. As always, I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.